and welcome back. In this chapter we're going to take a brief look at third-person controllers. Now as I mentioned in the last video, the third-person controller is a controller where you're actually standing behind a main character, seeing the back, the back of the head, maybe a little bit more of that character and just kind of shadowing them around and watching them walk or run or jump or whatever. Now a third person controller is more complex than a first person controller by quite a bit actually and really you could spend an entire course talking about all the things you could do with a third person controller. Well that's not this course but uh, but we will do enough that you can use this uh, pre-built third person controller that uh, Unity gives you in a game and uh, we'll look at some of the parameters and talk about a few of them but again there's so much here that a lot of that is going to be be left for another day so let's get going so the first thing we're gonna do is go into our project menu into our standard assets character controllers and there's the third person controller so we just drag it up here and now we're gonna remember the first person controller fell through the ground so we're gonna try to adjust things here and you can see there's this guy with the hard hat he's got no feet visible so let's raise him up in Y so add, a, add another unit you can start to see bits of feet there add a little more oh, and now we've lost his head so we'll zoom out a little bit and there's his feet that looks good and let's run see what we get and there he is okay move the mouse move him around and we can use the W key makes him walk forward the mouse we can make him uh, angle around and hit the shift key and he starts running and uh, now we can hit the A key and he goes left and D goes right and S he goes backwards which more or less means he just turns around and walks towards you and we can jump with the space bar makes a little more sense to jump while he's moving and there's running and jumping and now if you look out here to the right it's kinda of hard to point to this there's this little capsule here well that's actually part of the first person controller that we actually kept in here for the camera so here it is it's called graphics so we don't really want that to uh, display so I'm gonna click on it here and then I'm going to come over to the uh, come over to the inspector right there mesh render uncheck that so now and uh, you know if you just walk around and we'll just walk around in all kinds of directions and you don't see it anymore it's uh, it's not gone it's just not rendering so uh, so that's that easy enough and uh, if you notice the characters not completely stopped now he's uh, he's tapping his wrench he's swaying back and forth that's called idling so uh, let's come in here and take a look at some of this we'll choose the character look in the inspector like we said there's all kinds of parameters here the first one is these animations take a look at we've got idle walk jump and run and this is uh, these are animations that are created in a 3d modeling and animation package something you might want to start to get proficient as so you're not reliant on other people to build geometry for you and um, then we have our character controller we have our slope limit maximum that we can climb up mountains we've got step offset so how far does he move in a single step a um, number of other things we've got this center which doesn't have anything but uh, sometimes might um, third person controller here we've got scripts we've got walk speed trot speed run speed we're not really using trot speed but we are using walk and run we've got in air we've got gravity speed smoothing all kinds of things uh, then down here we've got angular max speed how quick does he rotate how quick does he snap around all kinds of things all kinds of parameters that like I said you can get into 
take a complete course to uh, to talk about some of these things. But that's it. That's good. We'll just come in and we'll save our scene and we'll save our project. 